Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use the Erase install software to upgrade a fleet of macOS computers with your MDM of choice. Today we'll be demoing how to do that with the Jamf software server. If you've never heard of Erase install, Google it. I'll put a link to the GitHub repo below. Uh, and that's what we're talking about. If you're just, if you're not an enterprise user, just go to Apple's website and RTFM on how to do this from there. Okay, so what we've done is we've got a client computer on 13.5.2. We open up self-service. This is a test client. We type in the password for the standard user account, and it's going to start downloading Sonoma. Now, due to the power of editing, this download is going to go wicked fast. Uh, in actuality, on a fast network, it still takes about 45 minutes. Now, as you probably know, if you've been doing this for a while, or if you're new, this may be new information, but Mac OS updates at the enterprise level is hopelessly broken, which is why we use this open source tool to reliably uh, execute this process uh, across managed devices. Um, there's no other way to do this that works uh, reliably. Uh, especially if you're updating a fleet of computers that are standard user accounts. So uh, there's there's actually zero difference in my workflow this year uh, compared to last year when Ventura came out. It's the exact same workflow. So that's what's happening here. Now, once this is done, we'll take a look at what it looks like on the boot side. Uh, so here we go. We get to see this Sonoma wallpaper and the VNC connector looks a little different too on my um, main computer, which I'm using to remote into this test computer. So that's cool. So yeah, we'll go ahead and log in here. And you can see there's now buttons for Launchpad, Mission Control, and Desktop. All right, so now we're magically logged in. We'll close out these other applications and we can see that this computer's updated. So that worked. Next, I'm gonna give a brief overview of what this backend configuration looks like on the MDM we're using, which is a Jamf Pro software server. So here we have a policy it's called a race install, the package number for the app, uh, the software we're using, which is 30.2. And then it's got this reinstall option because we don't want to erase this computer. We're just reinstalling the OS um, as, uh, to, to upgrade it. So that is uh, the general thing. Um, this is scoped to the devices we want to update to and there there is no trigger so it must be triggered through self-service in its in this um, configuration so this is what the users see in self-service and i'll send them an email saying hey this is available update in the next 60 days for these major upgrades i give them 60 days to do it and then i'll use a tool like nudge to nudge those folks along who haven't done it yet uh, with this fleet specifically, there's no reason for me to uh, defer updates. It's not going to make or break anything based off the beta testing we've had time to do with the beta OS that was released to the public months ago. Uh, it was released in the spring. Uh, we, we started testing it in June. So just fixing a mistake here for a nudge group which we'll be using in the future. And we will look at one more part of this command soon so we, we can view our group of computers that's included in this nudge group because that's gonna be important for automating this further down the line with the nudge software. And if you wanna see a video to that, check out my Mac admin playlist. The workflow is the same as it was last year, but I, I will get a the video for Sonoma specifically out in the next month or two. All right, just updating this smart group again. So I've noticed that 
some computers in the fleet are reporting an OS version of 14.0.0, so we want those to be included correctly. So just fixing all these smart groups. And here's this other piece of the policy we need to review that's important, and that is the files and processes where we execute a command. So make sure you read the wiki page for this software, but and, and do a lot of tests in your own lab environment before you deploy to a huge fleet. This is what we have, force curl reinstall uh, for the current user, overwrite, DEP notify, I realize that may not be necessary now, FS, clean up after use, power limit 180, that's important, and a post install command of jamp recon. So it checks in with the server when it's done. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, we'll see you around.